Tonight, police are intensifying their search for clues two years after a nurse disappeared. They are desperate for any information because they now fear that nurse could be dead. Eyewitness News reporter Stefan Kim is outside Bellevue Hospital to explain why investigators are taking a closer look at this missing person's case. Stefan? Well, Joe, that nurse was last seen here at Bellevue Hospital. Police, meanwhile, say her husband provided them with incorrect information about her whereabouts. He is now out of the country, and detectives say they have learned that he purchased with his credit card around the time of her disappearance a camping hatchet and packing tape. Mafusa Rahman from the Bronx, 30 years old when she went missing two years ago. A nurse at Bellevue Hospital, where she was last seen by a co-worker on December 8, 2015. Cops say she made it home to East 198th Street the following night, but she never showed up for work the day after that. At the time, her husband told cops she flew home to her native Bangladesh because her parents were in a car accident. But detectives later learned that wasn't true. He told me, watch my house because I got to go to my country. In the Bangladesh, but I never, I never seen him before. Uh, after this, his neighbors that following March told Eyewitness News he left his home just days after his wife's disappearance. Investigators never had a chance to speak with him in person. His wife never quit her job, and she has since vanished on social media. Detectives, however, did find her wallet, credit cards, and passport. Now, the couple has a daughter who was nine years old at the time, and she is now also believed to be in Bangladesh. Detectives had hit a, have hit a dead end with this case and are asking for the public's help. We posted this story on my Facebook page and our ABC7 Facebook page to share this to help get the word out. Reporting live at Bellevue Hospital, Stefan Kim, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.